Hello, guys. Hello, everybody. This is my little daughter, Alva Osman. I love her so, so, so much. This is my little queen. This is my 10 year old daughter. She's my first daughter. I love her so, so, so much. You know what? Like, I was begging God to give me, because when I grow up, I didn't have siblings that younger than me. I was begging God for years and years to give me a daughter so I can get a best friend. And that's what I got. Uh, <laughs> today, I'm going to grill her and I'm going to ask her some questions, some very sensitive questions that a lot of mothers want to know. Um, so, the first question is How old are you? I'm 10. The second question is are you ready yeah are you ready yes are you ready of course okay the second question is i was born ready yeah second question is they should start talking about with their children about potty parts about um what's called uh, this is my body stop it's my body and safety and about um what is called um, I am trying to like, use you know, children you, friendly yeah. words what age do you think they should teach them about their body parts, what their body parts should do, what do we use it for, what kind of people can touch their body, and body sensitive. Yeah. What age do they start teaching their children? Anything? If you ask me, I think eight. Because um, um, if when you go over eight, when we have like stop my uh, my body week, um, when you're over eight, so what? If if you talk, tell them about when you ate, then you're on time because after that, like they'll uh, they'll already what is it called? Yeah, they'll already take it up in school. Okay. So I think eight is good age. Okay. Do you have a set of a way that mothers can teach their children um, about their body parts? Because some mothers, you know, like it's a taboo to talk about a period or maybe to talk about yeah. uh, the body parts and they say, no, hush, 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 we should not talk about. And what a, do, you, do you have any advice how they can teach them and talk to them about it? Because some people might not have the relationship that me and you have and mm -hmm. they cannot, maybe they don't, they're not open about how to talk about those sense of topics with their children. Do you have any advice for them? Well, I say you could get a book about it. You could. There's lots of videos about it. Yeah, and there. Um, we watched this video in school about um, like stop my body, um, week. There is this YouTuber that makes videos and he talks about it, and he's really good. He makes lots of good videos, and it's uh, it's from um, Save the Kids. Oh, that's great. He made. Okay, I have one more question for you. Yes. Do you have a crush on somebody? Yeah. <laughs> Can I know? Sure, but I'm not going to say his name. Yeah, I'm don't say allowed. don't say the name. Yeah, don't say the name. But she has a crush. Okay, let me tell her okay. you about him. Okay, tell me about him without not saying his name and something, you okay. know, it's me on social media right now. He has brown hair. Mm. Brown hair, okay. Okay. He, he, he has curly brown hair. Okay. He's tall. How tall? Is he taller than you? Yeah, this, this. Okay. A bit taller. He's, he, uh, he's one month older. He's one month older. <laughs> okay. He's in January, because my birthday is 23rd of February. Mm-hmm. So his birthday is in January, and then what is he more about? He goes in the four A, while I go in four B. Okay. Mm hmm. I used to sit next to him in class. Okay. <laughs> now we're going somewhere. His favorite book is Narnia. <gasps> oh my God! Okay. He loves chess. Mm -hmm. He um, let me let me think. Oh yeah, and um, my best friend used to like him. <laughs> 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 I'm not 
But she, <laughs> I was like expecting you gonna say something, and you were like, "My best friend <laughs> used to like him." But if your best friend used to like him, yeah, it's girl cool not to like him. Exactly. But I can't, I can't, I can't like help it. But you know, she said, "This girl, <laughs> uh, this girl." When I told her about it, you know, she was like, she was like, "Yeah, but he's a backstabber." And I said, "Yesterday you were drooling over him." <laughs> Oh my god! Make up your mind. Uh, yeah, but did you did you tell the did you tell her that you have a crush on him? No, I said, what do you think about this boy? And she knew that I said that I liked him, and she was like, first she gave me this look. <laughs> okay. And I'm like, and 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 remember my my other friend? She's standing in the corner hiding, wanting to listen in the bushes he like hiding <laughs> and you can see her hair sticking up so uh, so i'm trying not to laugh because that it was seem disrespectful yeah so i'm trying not to laugh does he know that you have a crush on him no absolutely not but but we should do something that so he finds out no i can help you with a lot of ways that he can find no. out no you. you know you know i've been living my life longer than you i know but it's so embarrassing can, it's not embarrassing i can tell you a ways that he can find out number one i don't agree with the fact that you actually it's it's absolutely right it's your right and you can do whatever you want to do but I, it's it's against girls code yeah. i don't think so it's a good idea to have a crush on someone but this girl your friend actually had it on it yeah. but that he, did he had a crush on your friend? That's the question. No, no, he didn't. Okay, because so my you friend, know what we call that guy? What we call him single. He's available. <laughs> that's what we call. <laughs> ah, that's what I would call him anyway. So let's figure it out. Oh yeah, and I forgot to say this. My ex best friend. Yeah. Your ex best friend. Yeah. So the girl, she's not your friend anymore. No. Okay, then, no, then, then, then. It's, you can have a crush on him. Okay, can I ask you why she became your ex um, best friend? She was very bossy. And listen, when I was at her house, I was barely even allowed to sit down. When I sat down, she was like, who said you could sit down? All that. And I was like, who, who said that you, you can talk to me like that? Absolutely. And then when we're at my house, she gets to do whatever she wants. And even she's acting like this is her house. Exactly. Like she owned this whole house. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, it goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But babes, I have a I have a what is called one more question for you. Yeah. What do you consider a good mother? Well, a good mo- mother has to be caring, pr- protective, nice. Yeah. Nice, protective. Do you think I'm a good mother? Yes. You cover all those three, and plus, you're a good chef. <laughs> okay. That's my tummy um, agrees on. Yeah. If you were to choose somebody to give a birth to you, would that be me? Because I chose to give a birth to you. But yeah. Would you choose me? Yes. Yeah. But if, I, if it was not you, I would probably pick Justin Bieber. To be your mother? Yes. Isn't he a boy? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're good with the questions today. Uh, if you better, if you guys want to see more of our buzz videos, and I can ask her more questions, oh. like subscribe and share and leave comments by and down below, so you can guys ask her another questions too. I can ask her next time that we make a video. Uh, thank you very much for the support, for the love, and all the love comments that we get. I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you very much, guys. Do you want to say something? Yes. Have you noticed my hair? <laughs> they did notice your hair. They were looking at your hair the whole day, I think so. You're so beautiful, honey. I know. Okay. Bye. Bye.